If you're just now joining us, we're doing extensive work on this 34 foot trawler. We have done a lot of work so far, ripping the place apart in basically every way. We have started to put her back together, including installing some new windows. Last time we were working in the aft head and then this happened. I heard a noise I don't like hearing. Let me show you. I, I kind of want to stop doing that. Yeah, so I was thinking about just cutting that line and then seeing how bad this is. This rotted out section here, but you know what? I'm thinking take this off, take this off, and just like, I'm not a huge fan of it. This whole sheet has just got cracks and dings and dents and all over the place. It would be kind of nice to glue back onto, but I'm thinking, uh, what else is it hiding under here? Um, I'm going to grab a scraper. See about. So we've uncovered it, and unclear if it's a sink drain leak or if it is infiltration from the shower. Um, but what is clear is that it's turned to dust. It feels like there's some fiberglass back there though, which is good. Chances are, I can go ahead and take a small section out and gloss in a new piece to at least connect it back to the back wall. Then uh, I'm thinking replacing this shower wall that is all busted up. So here I'm just tabbing in the new section of bulkhead with some three inch fiberglass tape. It's gonna create a waterproof seal along that edge. I'll do that in a couple different places here. Back here, let's see, this doesn't really open very far. All right, so check this out. This is underneath the shower. I've got a light down here. You can see 
see the drain, I believe, is that uh, white monstrosity hanging down there. And then all this black down here is like disgusting shower liquid. We are on boat yoga. Um, episode 64. After scuffing this shower pan with some 80 grit sandpaper, it's ready for some nice white gel coat. Um, it's going to make cleaning the shower in the future so much better, and I really like how bright it looks. Part of the valve. There's a big shower body thing. It's all one big piece. Spit shine. Yeah, spit shine means. So I'm going to be replacing this laminate on the aft head here um, and I'm planning on using the same kind of shower pan material I've been using um, in the other locations. And so I'm going to use some freezer paper and masking tape and hopefully I can make a really accurate template. It's got some tricky corners and this edge over here that you can't see is uh, untrimmed and so it's going to have to be, I think it's straight, so I'm pretty sure it'll just be a factory edge on that side. Um, but then this uh, Think Nook I got a Dodge. Um, yeah, I don't know. Wish me luck. I think this is going to be really tricky. Okay, so I just cut this piece. We're gonna see if it fits. I mean, first try, no way, right? right? Oh. 
plugged in, uh, gel coat, fiberglass basin. Um, we're gonna try to maybe cheat a little bit. We're gonna use this Fusion all-in-one paint and primer, five times adhesion, super awesome, gloss white, no peel guarantee, Krylon stuff. So uh, maybe just brighten it up a little bit, get rid of some of the yellowness. I don't know, let's see how it goes. Did I miss a spot? So I want to show you how this towel bar is in these, this aft head. I think you'll be interested. So it's screwed in between the veneer and the shower liner panel. So it's screwed in from the outside in. So you don't take this out to replace it unless you want to replace the wall too. So take a look at what this thing looked like before. And now... Now we have a few more things to finish up in here, like a new shower faucet and put the actual toilet in, but things are looking a lot better in here hello no don't buy it okay I won't thanks for watching